Camel, the cigarette of costlier tobaccos. Penny for penny, camels are your best cigarette buy. Yes, it's Benny Goodman's Camel Caravan, and tonight our hot club's meeting in Benny's hometown, Chicago. On hand to help the meeting swing along are Johnny Mercer, Martha Tilton, the Goodman Quartet, and the world's greatest swing band. First on the docket is a word of appreciation to you club members. You smokers make these weekly meetings possible by your keen appreciation of Camel's costlier tobaccos. You've made Camel America's number one cigarette. So thanks, folks. And for smoking pleasure at its best, have a Camel. Penny for penny, your best cigarette buy. Pull up a chair or cut up a rug, club, mem- club member. Fluff already. Fluff. Fluff. Yeah. <laughs> There'll be a slight lull for a slight pause for Station House right here. <laughs> this is your president, Denny Goodman. We're meeting tonight on my old stamping ground, Chicago. And right off the bat, I've got a question, Benny. Well, pitch in, Johnny Mercer. Okay, you were born and raised in these parts. And Chicago's such a hotbed of swing that fans are always talking about Chicago style. Now, suppose I were Joe Swing fan, Benny. How would you explain Chicago style to me? Well, the Chicago style of swing started in small groups. They never had any written arrangements. I see, Pops. Well, who were some of those small groups? Where did they play? Well, they weren't organized. They played where and when they got together. There'd be a trumpet player from one outfit, a sax or piano man from another, and maybe only four or five altogether. And they'd just get together in a back room somewhere and improvise? Sure. I've seen Dick Spiderbeck, Frank Teschmacher, Eddie Condon... Joe Sullivan and Ben Pollock all playing together in one band, but only for that one session, of course. Nothing ever on paper? That's right. And that's why nothing's ever played exactly the same way twice. But you know, Joe Swing fan, Chicago style is something you have to feel. You just can't put it in words. Well, thanks for having a shot at it anyway. And now, club members, to show you that sometimes a full band can play Chicago style too, here is Jumpin' at the Woodside.
We talked to Martha Tilton, and this is what we told her. We'd like to hear a love song like Tristan and his soldier. I replied with dignity and manner most emphatic. I'm not the type to put on airs if they are operatic. And so poor Wagner must remain neglected and ignored. For Martha sings The Ladies in Love, which we chose with one accord. <laughs>
wah, wah, sis, boom, ba. Gonna sing a wumba. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, Johnny, take it easy. What do you mean, wah, wah, wah? Why, Mr. President, don't you know there's no R in this month? I have to cheer myself up because I'm going to sing. Now, John? Now, Benny. The number is when Yuba played his tuba down in Cuba, and it really is a wow of a wumba. <laughs> Just a big ambitious bum, he wouldn't do a So much as chew a stick of gum, so this is news to me I understand her, he's an overnight success He's in demand her, why I never could have guessed Well, he found himself a tuba and he bummed his way to Cuba And the rest is history Down in Havana, there's a funny looking booba He plays the rumba on the tuba down in Cuba and he's apple, sell an apple, but this chap would rather grapple with his oompa, oompa, oompa. They prefer it to the poopa, doopa, doopa. They love the rumble on the tuba down in Cuba. It doesn't take him very long to get a tumble. For all the rumble lovers going to their rumble. Oh, how I'd love to be his double for without a bit of trouble with his oompa, oompa, oompa. He can knock 11 ladies for a looper. They love the rumble on the tuba down in Cuba. He's not a green horn, blows a mean horn, must be seen on, cause he's a whiz, whiz, whiz. Why all Havana loves his funny looking booba, who plays the rumba on a tuba down in Cuba. I can't believe it, but they tell us every peanut vendor's jealous of his oompa, oompa, oompa. They prefer it to the poopa, doopa, doopa. They love the rumba on the tuba down in Cuba. They love his oompa, 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 oompa. All the cups in our hot club trophy room are signposts of memory lane. They stand for the songs you know and love. You always enjoy hearing them, and we try to do our part by giving them a new polish for you. One of our brightest trophy winners, shining through those memories, is the cup engraved with the name of Melancholy Baby.
know, club members, a little while ago, Benny and I were talking about the Chicago style of playing swing. And the Goodman Quartet is a swell example of that style. You'll notice they play the first chorus together and fairly straight. After that, each one of them takes a whack at improvising a solo. And then they all get together again for the finish. Well, that's real Chicago. Here they are to show you with a tune called, oddly enough, Chicago. A couple of months or so ago, we introduced a new song to you. And now you hear it everywhere you go. They tell us it's headed straight for the top of the list. We're sort of proud of it here because it was written right in the clubhouse. Johnny Mercer wrote the words and Ziggy Elman took care of the music. The band and I are going to play it for you with Martha to sing a chorus and Ziggy will blow it away on the last chorus. And the angels sing. Thank you. 
Special bulletin for the hot tubs of America. Your honorary president, Benny Goodman, is making his weekly bow in your direction and cutting a slice of solid jive. It's a highlight on the list of every swing fan. The Goodman version of clarinet marmalade. Just the kind of jam you go for. Get it? Looks like the time has come to say good night. But before we adjourn, a vote of thanks to all you club members in Chicago. Next Tuesday meeting will take up at St. Louis. Till then, this is Benny Goodman saying good night for camels and all the gang. Yes, the time has come, the walrus said. And by walrus, I mean that clam eating little monster, the fluff box. So far, he's gobbled up $40 and 50 cents. And I'm getting to be known as the after dinner mint because I always pay the check. This is Johnny Mercer saying so long till next Tuesday. Next Monday night over these same stations, Eddie Cantor's camel caravan rolls in. So make it a Monday night date, too. All five senses will tell you pipe smokers why Prince Albert is the national joy smoke. You can smell its fresh, fragrant aroma. You can taste its rich, ripe, no-bite goodness. You can see its special, slow-burning, cool-smoking crimp cut. You can hear Prince Albert smokers say that there's no other tobacco like it. You'll feel mighty good about getting around 50 swell, mellow smokes out of every big red tin of Prince Albert. Harry Holcomb speaking, the ladies in love with you, from the picture Some Like It Hot. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System. Thank you.